Hey, welcome to this History Masterclass. I'm Mr. Salagaris, and today we're going to learn about samurai during the Middle Ages. All right. Um, in a previous episode, we learned that in order for the daimyo to keep their power, they relied on two groups of people. The first was the peasants uh, to work their land and serve in their military. And the second, which we're going to focus on today, no points for guessing, is the samurai. The samurai were the fighting warrior class that served under the daimyo. The word samurai means one who serves. Samurai lived by a code of honor and were expected to live and die under this code. If they broke this code by fighting incorrectly, by lying, cheating, they would be expected to end their life as this brought dishonor and shame to their family name. This loss of honor could only be made right if the act of seppuku was performed. Seppuku involved the samurai committing suicide either by being beheaded or by impaling themselves in their stomach with their sword. The samurai code was called the Bushido and was based on the principles of respect, benevolence, fidelity, organization and readiness. During the Tokugawa period, samurai would begin training at the age of six under the guidance of a Musta chief. They would learn a range of skills such as fighting, military skills, reading, writing, and how to behave in public. When a samurai turned 15, they'd finish their training and would have a graduation ceremony called a Gen uh, Buku. During this time, there was less conflict between clans, which meant that the samurai would spend time refining their skills as specialized warriors. All right, we're gonna talk about the weapons and armor of samurais now. Samurai armor was often very ornate, which means pretty, uh, and decorative, and at the same time highly effective as a defensive tool. Armor consisted of small pieces of scaled, or scales, small pieces of scales of pointed iron laced together using silk thread. This armor was light, flexible, and easy to fight with. Each warrior's armor was different and reflect the values of their family or clan by the images and colors it was decorated with. For example, the helmet had horns or scary images which were used to frighten opponents and let others know the identity of the warrior. The samurai's head was shaved apart from a small section of the top which was tied in a knot. Hmm. The samurai had both a long sword and a short sword. Only samurais were allowed to have a sword. If they lost their sword, it was considered as highly dishonorable. The long sword was called the katana and was used for, for fighting and the act of seppuku. Uh, the shorter cord, uh, cord sword was called uh, the wakazashi and was used to remove the enemy's head or other body parts. Samurai often carried a range of other weapons such as bows, arrows, or spears. Okay, let's talk about warfare now. Warfare and battles took place in the open and could be, con well, needed to be conducted under strict rules. Opposing sides would agree when the battle would take place. Before the battle would begin, a single samurai from each side would meet and issue a challenge. These two samurai would talk to each other about their strengths and would then fire an arrow at each other. When this happened, the battle would begin and the other samurai could attack. A samurai would cut off the head of an enemy he killed in battle and keep them as a trophy. This head would then be mounted and displayed on a beautiful board. It was considered honorable and as a sign of power to have as many heads collected from battle as possible. Later, samurai decided to take the nose off the enemy because it was much easier to carry, obviously. Okay, so what have we learnt? We learnt that samurai were warriors protected the daimyo. Samurai were skilled warriors who followed a strict code of honor, and they also wore protective armor and carried swords. If a samurai was dishonored, they would commit the act of seppuku. Hey, stay tuned for other videos in this series. Thanks for watching. Make sure you go back and watch it again if there was points that you missed. Make sure you like it, subscribe to my channel, and thank you for watching.